Hi, Fab Family. Welcome back to our channel. What's up? Say hi, guys. Hi. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> this is okay. This, this is the reality. Okay. You guys saw the the last video. It was nice and peaceful. So this is part today, two of the Q and A. Today you might have some noise. Let's see. Let's see if they actually listen to what we said before we started recording. But anyways, so we're gonna continue with our eyes to the lens. We're gonna continue. <laughs> oh, oh, I still was looking at the at the. Anyways, it doesn't matter. They don't know. It doesn't make, really make a difference. They're not gonna know. They're <laughs> gonna know. Um, so today we're gonna continue with our Q and A, um, and this is part two. So first question, we're just gonna get right into it. From um, Slink, Slink underscore 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 underscore. underscore, underscore. underscore. <laughs> um, where's my invitation for the asopal? Well, first of all. I need to learn how to make an asshole pow. <laughs> no, you did one time. I did, but I'm not. It was not... good. I was sick, but it was good. Yeah, but I'm not an expert at asshole pow. Yeah, we're not. I'm not a soup person. I like asshole pow, but asshole pow is like a. How you say that in English? It's like a soup with rice. It's a asshole pow. <laughs> um, yeah. No, yeah, it's I like mean, a soup with rice. I don't know. I, 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 I might practice it a little more just so that I can invite you for one, so. Stay tuned. We actually know um, this subscriber. He's a friend, a really close friend, a babe. Um, what's the next question? So we'll be in your DMs, girl. <laughs> so the other question was from Maria. She's uh, she follows us on Instagram and here on YouTube. And her question was, do you guys want to raise your family in New York? Or would you like to move to another state? Armani, and if so, do we want to live in New York? No! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, so this has been like a, a, no. a, a point of conversation for a while, a little while now. Um, we're really looking into exploring other states and keeping our options open. We're really being open-minded right now, but we definitely don't want to stay in New York. But I, I'm not gonna say that we're not like definitely not gonna stay here. We're I think it definitely really, not gonna stay here. You think so? I'll answer it for you. Okay, but I think it's gonna. It might depend on like the opportunities we we get when we start looking into real estate. So yeah. So it might really not be like like, like we if you see us buying something or like if we're uh, start vlogging and we're purchasing something in New York. Is just us getting into the real estate. It's not necessarily like we're buying to, like stay to stay in, in New York. Brand. It's just that right now with the kids, her parents, her sister, like we're all here in this bubble. Um, but we want to act on, you know, what we want to do in our future now. So, you know, it might just be that we invest here in New York and then slowly just start looking and visiting at other places and then make that move. Yeah, but so it's going to depend. Know. But I, I'm, I'm open, like I'm open like to move. I really want to get out of New York, to be completely honest. <laughs> I am ideally, I mean, this doesn't, this doesn't break a deal, but ideally I would like to move somewhere where it's a little warmer. Definitely we're not going anywhere colder. <laughs> I hate, I hate the cold. I hate the cold. So I would really like to. So if you're from another warmer. state and that's not from New York, let us know where you're from. And what are things that you like, that we that you like that you think we would like as, you know, we build our family. Um, yeah, let us know. Let us know in the comment was, section. We like to chat with you guys in the comments. So, and don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. Share with your friends. We're, let's build this community. We do great things together. Let's get to five twenty five. Thousand subscribers. I might say let's get to twenty five. We're at twenty four. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, again from Maria on Instagram, Maria Pink thirteen. She said we want to see you do more videos on YouTube. And here we and are. <laughs> we are going to be doing more videos on YouTube this year. I promise. Like we are going to do this. Yeah. We've already said we're going to be committed. We made a big step. Um, yesterday which if you follow us on instagram you would know what we're talking about here's our instagrams um, below make sure you follow us and we're excited we're excited about this year and what it's going to bring 
um so she also has another question do you want more kids by the way you guys are the cutest couple thank we, you so much maria we answered that in the previous video so yeah. after you finish this one if you want to know yes <laughs> i mean we can answer it again we said no yeah why did we i hesitate no. so much <laughs> i said no i i don't think i'm gonna have any more kids i really if i want if i was gonna have a third child i wanted it to be soon and I don't think I'm ready to have another child right now. Two is a lot for me right now. So I don't think I'm going to have any more kids. But I, I said in the previous video, God is the one who has the last word. So I don't ever say like uh, never, but it's not in my plans. I'm just, I'm just saying. It is in my plans. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God. Let me see. Damn. You're gonna come out here with your hair looking crazy? Yes. Yes? She okay. also said. Oh, this is funny. She said, We also need a video on what you eat yeah. in a day because you're so beautiful. <laughs> oh my God. You're like the sweetest person ever. Thank you for that beautiful compliment. <laughs> um, but. Stop, stop. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You would be surprised to know that my diet right now is the most. Not even diet, because she's not dieting. Her eating, I mean, eating I mean, habits. I mean, like, my eating habits right now are not the best. At, at all. all. <laughs> at all. Like, I've just been a mess. I've been all over the place, to be completely honest. I feel terrible about it. Thankfully, my genes help me, and I am not, like, obese right now. Um, but <laughs> that's because genetically my body is not you know i don't gain weight that easily but also it's not i'm not it's not that i'm eating a lot it's more that i'm eating crappy so i i just even though i'm home because i'm working from home but she's I guess, a snacker she likes to like snack. the stress of like having the kids around like so often like i wasn't used to this i'm and I just still have not, to be completely honest, I'm not going to sit here and like tell you, oh, um, I have a well-balanced uh, breakfast and, you know, I drink my protein shake in the morning and for the afternoon I have a... Woo, 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 woo! Sorry, guys. And for the afternoon I have a well-balanced lunch. Usually I have a salad with chicken. Like, no. <laughs> I don't... I never remember my place to record. I'm sorry. I did. Oh, my God. <laughs> She, uh, so yeah, right now I'm not the very best. I I try to like just stay. Like I don't want to say I'm like completely unhealthy, but more than anything, I feel like first of all I I skip meals sometimes, which I think is a terrible thing. Um, and I'm not doing it pers pers purposefully. Like I'm not doing it because oh I want to lose weight, so I'm just no. I just like I start working, I get busy with the kids, and I just forget to like eat often myself um and then when i'm eating then i'm eating not so healthy which is very terrible because then i'm skipping a meal and then when i'm eating i'm not eating healthy so yeah but i'm really trying to um i stay on top of my vitamins <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what hey you wait i have a question <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> is she like she destroyed a granola bar like like <laughs> grain by grain just like threw it on the floor this is what this is this is what happens maybe, maybe i should record it and like what it is what i have a question so we're gonna show you a behind the scenes right now of what she's doing hurry up girl Take zoom into the Take it. stop it <laughs> She says she stop a, it. She, she says, has a sticker on top on, on, on the back of her shirt. She says stop it. Stop recording me. <laughs> okay. To like conclude the question, I am not being the healthiest person right now. I usually try to like I have, I, I don't eat like a lot, so I think that's what helps me like kind of stay in shape. But with me, I to be completely honest, it has a lot to do with genetics. I'm just you very repeat, small you you framed. You repeated this already. I'm a very small framed person. Um, no. what do you have? Quiet. Uh, okay, next question. This is really long, but this is from Steph underscore Koshita Bella from Instagram. 
Thank you so much for your questions. So it says, I'd like to know more about your relationship with each other. Who was interested first? I was, well, what, it was MySpace, MySpace? Yeah. MySpace, founder of MySpace. On somebody's, somebody's top, top five. eight. Top five? I don't know, whatever it was. It was top five. <laughs> whatever, but she was in posing in a mirror like, mm, and I was ew. like, oh, tap, I want you. Yeah. <laughs> So it's funny because, you know, when he was, uh, as he was eyeing me on MySpace, that friend, I don't know if you had actually mentioned something because it was like really like coincidental, like the time that everything happened. As he is like looking at my picture on her Instagram page, she's talking MySpace. to me, Instagram, MySpace, she's talking to me and she's telling me, girl, like, you know, at that time, you know, we were in high school, we had a little boyfriend. So I had a little boyfriend at the time who I had broken up with. And she's like, girl, I know the perfect person for you. You guys would be perfect for each other. He's a DJ, he's into music, and you're a dancer. And she was like, you guys are perfect for each other. And, you know, at this time, I don't even know what he looks like. <laughs> and Marty's over here, like, smiling. Oh, like, what happened? <laughs> um, so, yeah, like, I just left it like that. I didn't even know what he looked like, so I just left it like that. And he kept insisting, I don't know who he, if he kept talking to them. But then he met me at the school, in front of the school, which I was attending, which was Lehman High School at the time. Zena. And as I was coming out of school, he was waiting for me outside one day. Not like stalking, like no. we coordinated and I was there. Yeah, and then he took the bus with me. He took me to the grocery store. He bought me a <laughs> lollipop. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. No, pause Put the it. the volume down. <laughs> Pause it. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Daddy. You can keep. I'm gonna put it in the room for her. Okay. Mommy. What? Daddy bought you a lollipop. Yeah. Wow, it's so expensive. <laughs> well, at the time he wasn't working, and I wasn't either. We were teenagers. He actually asked me if I wanted something else other than a lollipop. He, we went into the store, and he said, "What do you want? Like, take whatever you want." But I, I'm like very shy. I was very shy, so I, was I didn't. I with like five dollars in my pocket. <laughs> I was very shy, so I was like, no, I don't want anything. And he's like, no, take something. And so I just took a lollipop, just to take a lollipop. I don't know why a lollipop out of all things. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I'm sorry, I got lost. So, yeah, so who was interested first? He was interested first. Um, I'll wait for him to get here for the next question. When you went with college, you met daddy? Like that. No, I met him in high school. So you stick to me? All right, so, babe, who said, I, who said I love you first? Um, I don't know. Probably me. I don't remember, to be yeah, honest. I don't remember. To be honest, that's I don't know. I don't remember. And I, I think, like yeah, I think the reason why I, it's not like so vivid, like I don't really remember like that specific moment in time, is because when we started talking, like we kind of like were talking like as friends for like a long time. I feel like we were, like we would stay on the phone and di we didn't have anything like super serious. Obviously, we met each other when we were like sixteen or fifteen, sixteen. Um. And we would just like, we just had like chemistry. So like when we would be on the phone, we would be on the phone for like hours, hours talking. After seven though, you guys don't, you got, you young kids don't know the struggle. <laughs> Seriously. After seven, no texting. I think in the beginning we text, right? Yeah, I think so. And it was like 10 cents though. So. Oh no, you know no, what I saved had us? Unlimited. No, 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 you know what saved us? No, we used to have AIM on the sidekick. So AIM, wow. AIM was free if you had like, AIM was like an instant messenger. So if you had AIM, you, it's pretty much texting, except you didn't have to pay the fees. But there was no really texting back then. It was um, AIM as a messenger and I don't know, what, Hotmail messenger. I don't really use that one. Yeah, but, yeah. but I, I know those were the, the biggest ones because texting was not a thing back then. Yeah. So it was that, expensive. Yeah. It wasn't unlimited until like a certain And you had time. to like sign, you had to be signed in. It wasn't like something that... Yeah. But yeah. So who said I love you first? So we don't really know. He thinks it was him. 
we we had I'll a long we, yeah we had a long time just getting to know each other and we were like boyfriend and girlfriend kind of serious not serious who knows um how long did you guys date before getting married so we date well it's kind of complicated like we met each other when we were 16 and that was on and off we started we talking like we would talk for long periods of time so we kind of built a real uh, a friendship and i was 16 i was living with my mom my mom was very strict so it wasn't like i was going out with him on dates like that was not a thing until i was he's like paying attention our money's like right next to he's like <laughs> what is going on here it's okay you can know um so it wasn't a thing and i pretty much was going to school and whenever i would see him was really when i would like go to school and we would like meet up like after school yeah but you know mr over here at that age he was all over the place so he was all over the place i was like in my house <laughs> i was i don't know whenever i write my book you guys will know about my life yeah he has a lot of things to share with you guys but he's not ready yet anyways so how long did you guys date before getting married we met each other when we were 16 we were getting to know each other that whole time we took everything very serious at the age of 21 which was when we moved in together um and then we moved in together and we wasn't even honestly ready to move in together we weren't we it was weren't. just like like we were just so we were just happy. like yeah it was just like let's just do it like the circumstance that he was in pushed us to do that that like so like but like everything that happened it just i don't know it just worked out like it just built us from it the was beginning. meant to be i always yeah. say there's a reason why everything happens like god already knows what's written in your book like that was just the way it was supposed to go and um so we moved in when we were 21 and then at the age of 26 when was when That's we actually point. got married so we got married but we got engaged at 23 was it we got engaged at no no, no that 21. same year yeah, yeah, that 21. same year we got engaged so, so we was engaged for a long time yeah and then we would like plan plan our weddings and like pff, we had like in our heads we thought we was gonna have white horses and like a million dollar wedding yeah like Maybe in the future we will. We white, will have white tigers in cages. Our, our wedding was pretty nice. I'm pretty proud of yeah. the kind of wedding we had just because we made it happen ourselves. Like we were already moved in. We had our own apartment. We were like working our butts off. And we wasn't even making money like that. No. So. And we like were so disciplined in like making our wedding happen in a reality. I'm really proud of the way it came out. It wasn't like the most luxurious and best wedding ever but i really do feel like we had a pretty nice wedding for not having any help like we bought everything like our dresses our tuxes everything like our, their bright the bridesmaids um bought their stuff um and the groomsmen but everything else we paid for we should like, do a video days. on like um like things that went wrong on our wedding like for our wedding like remember with the yeah we, we're gonna we should do that video like things that happened that we was like expecting it to go differently yeah like things we planned and just how it actually didn't. happened <laughs> nah, that'd be a nice video yeah but but overall i'm grateful for what we made happen yeah. with the little bit that we had at that time like we were and we didn't go into debt for our wedding that's yeah. another thing i'm very very proud of even like if we did use any credit cards at that point when we made like you know people bring you gifts and mm -hmm. we we pretty much did request that because we was already living together so usually when people get married they're just gonna move in together so people bring them like you know plates and stuff homes. from the home but we asked for if you're gonna bring um a gift just make it like a monetary gift in an yeah. envelope and it helped a lot because whatever we did put on a credit card we just paid it off like it was perfect we didn't overspend to to the point where we literally paid off the whole thing and stood with some cash once the wedding was over and done with so that was like great i'm so proud of us for that um so yeah we met each other at 16 moved in at 21 and didn't get married until we were 26. um when did you and we're 30 now yeah when did y'all know y'all were it for each other these are these are questions still from steph on the score Koshita Bella. thank you so much for all your questions um so when did you guys know we were it for each other 
I knew we were it for each other when, like, I could have real conversations with him. It wasn't superficial. Like, it wasn't just, he was, first of all, he was very respectful all the time of me. I had, like, my, my boundaries and my values that I grew up and I really stuck with. I was like a believer, like very young at the age of 16, you know, like I strongly believed in like God and like all that, all those values. So I wasn't the type of chick to, to just be like out there dating a lot of men. Not that I'm criticizing anybody, but I just didn't have that mentality at that age. So I had a very mature and like well rounded and grounded mentality at the age of 16. So that in itself, you know, the fact that he stuck around, even though I had like my values and this is how I was and he accepted that and he just accepted me how I was and didn't try to like manipulate me or change me or like try to take me out of my comfort zone, that really made him a great candidate. I mean, I know, I know my spot, but I can't discuss it, but... That's how you knew that I was the one? No, nah, it was like one specific day. One specific day? Like the last day. The last now day. I'm curious what you're talking about. Hold on, I got it. Hold on. No. I'm going to show her, but I can't show you guys. Can I see? Everybody's like, who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> what is he talking about? No, you about? can't see it. You can't see it either. Why? You can't. Why? Because you're not ready. Let me that see. Day. Oh, really? Please, let me see you, Daddy. Then I see. Hold on, hold on. How did you pull this up so, like, you had it, like, on standby? Like, no, I, just, I went to my videos, I know. <laughs> Later, later. Oh no! Oh, she's crying. Let me see. I'm gonna show you later. Hold on, I'll show you later. No, then I'm gonna forget it. <laughs> oh, Daddy. I'm not gonna forget. I'm gonna show you. Okay. <laughs> Shit is real. Let me check how many minutes we've been recording. Sorry. All right. Next question yeah that was so, it so yeah um we just knew like you just know you just know i feel like you just know it just feels right everything feels right nothing feels forced you know like you know when sometimes like early on in that relation in a relationship when you have to force something so much early on in a relationship that that to me is a red flag because like at the beginning it's like when you're like so in love with this person and if that person is giving you a hard time at the very beginning, I can only imagine what things are going to be like when you're like five years down the line with this person. Like, it just needs to feel right. Yeah. You know, the person needs to respect you. You guys need to have like serious conversations about like long term goals. I feel like that's really important. And it was never like materialistic. It was never. It was yeah. never because he didn't have anything. We were young. Like, we didn't have anything. But, but our goals long term, even back then, were like similar. Like, we both were like, I want the best. Like, the best of the best. Like, we both had that ambition of what we wanted our life to be like in the future. And so I feel like that was something for me that was like, this is perfect. Like, we can go, we're, we're, we can go through hard things, but if you have a common goal and you guys both are very passionate about it, you're going to work things out and things are going to get better. So, yeah. Yeah, these topics are very like you can yeah, go these, on and on about, and on. This is about like a gonna be a ten part Q and A. Did anything stand out that made you realize? Let's try like, to do like quick answers. Okay. So we can get more. Did questions. Did anything stand out that made you realize like, damn, he or she is the one? So yeah, a lot of things stood yeah. out like we just explained. I'm sure you guys argue as couples do. How do you guys handle that? Um, some days I'm really petty and I just ignore her. <laughs> no actually not some days he almost always ignores me when we're like when when he feels Yay. that i'm like 
<laughs> when he feels that I'm trying to like that I'm like having a bad day he he's like literally this, these are his words I'm not gonna argue with you right now <laughs> and it pisses me off I'm not gonna lie cause when I'm when I don't know I, I'm just I'm I hate arguing like I, I truly hate arguing I do too but sometimes, like, I, I have, like, my moment but where But you're I, more, like, ex you express yourself more. Like, me, I I kind of just, I hold it in and I just, whatever, I live with it. It is what it is. But that's not good. I know, but it, it is what it is. It is what that's it is. That's something that needs to be worked on. That's not good. Um, But, you know, I try to, like, get him to, like, talk sometimes when it's... Now we do talk, though. Don't, don't think, like, every yeah. argument is like that. But yeah. usually if it's, like, dumb, silly stuff... If I'm just like having a bad day and everything is bothering me, then that's when he's like, I'm not trying to argue with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't you think it's just fun and games on this side? Okay. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. So. And and also how do we handle it? I think that the way that we handle it is we we yep. we're we're mad at each other, but we're not disrespectful. Yeah. And we still end up even though at the beginning we still end up communicating, which is the yeah. most important part yeah and come to an agreement like and and like and like we're mad at each other but again we don't disrespect each other we've never like cursed at each other like mad like <laughs> never like we've really never done it like he's never put a hand on me like you know because that would be the end of it y'all I, I, I don't i, was, I don't play that i always put hands on you <laughs> Okay, next question. Why are you looking at me, little boy? <laughs> right, uh, yeah. I know some couples curse at each other. Okay, that, that's what she said. I know some couples curse at each other, out, uh, curse each other out while others can talk it out without hitting below the belt. Exactly. Yeah. So we don't curse yeah. each other out. We like fully respect each other even when we're upset at each other. You guys seem to communicate very well. Any tips? So we just we're just honest with each other. I think. Right, we are right. You better. Yeah, be, yeah. but that's not a tip, though. Well, I, I guess Any being tips? honest. Yeah, but... you have to be honest with yourself and with your partner as to what is it that you want from life. What is it that bothers you? And and always like have that open communication. Like especially if you're, if you're not like younger. Like if you're 21, not even just 20. If you're just if it's a very new relationship, like you really gotta ask yourself like, is this. Like, do I want to really settle down or this is just like, OK, I'm going to have a boyfriend and then because I don't have my life figured out and you just want a partner. Or if you're like older and you're like, OK, I need to figure life out. Um, yeah, just communicate and know what you both want. It's not just one person because she can want she can want to be married in a relationship. And if I never tell her that I don't want marriage. Whenever that comes up down the line, you you just lost everything. Because if I never wanted marriage and she wanted marriage from the beginning, then you guys should establish that. That's very important. Yeah. I think a couple of things that are really important to talk about, like as soon as you meet a person so that you don't waste your time, is one, religion. How do you guys feel on that? Two, kids. How do you guys feel about that? Financial decisions and like your long-term goals. Like that needs to be like forefront like you need to be honest about those things and that'll help you um know if that person is for you or not yep um i'm gonna cut it here and then start a new clip Hold okay on. okay right, we're back. so yeah this is still steph she had a lot of mm -hmm. questions which i That's really good. appreciate yeah. i really appreciate i that. tell this boy stop touching the camera he he decides to do a limbo on the whole tripod i can't okay so, uh, any tips? Okay. So, Boy! so she said, were you guys scared when you first got pregnant? No. Well, she was. N not really. I was just in shock. I wasn't planning to be pregnant. I wanted it more. I was just like, let's do this. Which it paid off because now he's about to be a grown up and I can kick him out of my house. Bye! <laughs> so, I wasn't scared. I was just in shock. I was ex I wanted to be pregnant when I was 25 it happened when I was 23 which isn't so bad but I wasn't scared because we were both already working and we were pretty much stable at our jobs and we had our own apartment so it wasn't like we couldn't handle a baby coming into our life so after you know I it was, was weird at the 
I guess because we was really the only one that was having a baby, right? At that time. And then everybody else started. Everybody was super excited, though. Like, I think because, yeah, it was us, then... Then... Kayla? Kayla? And then Maribel. Yeah. So everybody was, like, super excited. I feel like we started, like, a chain reaction. We really did, because it was, like... I was pregnant then of a yeah, like close nobody friend had, of ours. Yeah, like nobody was, had kids at that Like our time group or, or a group of friends at that moment, like we all started getting pregnant, like one behind the other. It was like really funny. And then we all had like the same sex baby. Like we all had boys. It was it was pretty cool though. Um, and, but again, you know, this is why when you are in a relationship, you need to be ready for these kinds of things to happen. Yeah. Um, because... If you're with the wrong person and you just end up pregnant, you know, that, that just has a lot of problems and consequences attached to it. Um, but yeah, we weren't scared. Like, I was a shock at the beginning. I was like, oh my God, like, I wasn't really planning this. And then um, I was happy. Then, like, my pregnancy was very beautiful. It was, I was, I had a very healthy, easy pregnancy with my son. Like, no morning sickness. I felt like myself, other than maybe I wanted to, like, sleep sometimes. But other than that, I was good. Um, any more babies? We already answered that question. Do you guys look through each other's phones? And what are your thoughts on that? I think we used to. And uh, like... When we had like, that incident that we spoke about in the last video. Yeah, like early on. But now it's just... Like, I could leave my phone with her all day. The we only, don't even... The, the only thing that will stress me is that I won't have my phone with me. But it is what it is. We don't even like, like I know his password, he knows mine. I don't feel like there's any mystery around yeah. our phones. So it's literally like we leave our phones anywhere. Like he can answer my phone calls, I can answer his phone calls. Like there's no secret. I don't so you like homies out there that be shooting them DMs? I can see them. <laughs> I see them all. Yeah, like there's no secrets with us. So um, we're cool in that regard. Can I get a kiss? And what do I think of, of that? So what I think is, if you feel the need to have to go through your man's phone or your uh, woman's phone, there's other things. That's there's wrong something with the relationship. else. Yeah. There's something else that's bothering. There's something there. You don't have there. There's there's no trust. So something needs to be worked out. You need to go to counseling. Um, but you need to do something and fix that, or it's just gonna get worse. So it's either you fix it, or something's gotta give but there is something definitely wrong if you feel the need to do that to like look for something yeah and then it's, it's based on like where you at in your relationship like you know if you guys just met each other then i don't know yeah we're never gonna drag off this topic because yeah, this yeah. video is already 30 minutes long all right so that that's it she said i think that's it for now thank you so much steph we appreciate you yes thank you for all the questions she because of you we got a part two <laughs> um so isha matias a very uh also a very old subscriber of ours be careful go back um isha matias thank you so much for your questions she said how did you guys meet so we met in high school, 16, in front of Lehman High School. Um, and does Darwin have any siblings? I do. He a does. shit ton. All of them are boys. Yeah. From my from my father's side. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but siblings. From my, from my mother's side, it's just, it's just, well, three of us total. So two. So he has two brothers. Be specific. They don't know. Two brothers. Two brothers. He has two brothers, and he's the oldest. <laughs> um, what else? What else? I think that's it. Is it? Yep. That's it. Part two. This is the wrap for part two. So, so just to wrap it up, what's one advice you give to a couple in a relationship? Yeah, because that, so we're gonna close to be, this out, that yeah. seems to be the, the center of this Q&A. Um, Without making it too long. Like one advice? What, yeah, advice that you have for a couple out there. So the advice I give you is be honest with each other from the very get-go. Do not try to be something you're not. Armani, please. Just be honest and open from the very beginning. Do not waste each other's times. Um, and, you know, if all you want is a is a one-night thing, like, say that. Like, there's people who have Or if you just no want idea. a partner. Like, if you just need a what partner. What is your goal? What is, what is it that you're looking for 
from that person when you meet them. Like, be open and honest. Don't be afraid to say who you really are, what you really like, what you really see your life as. Because I, I, I think some people... I mean... I think some people... Um, Damn, girl. I have girl. a lot to say. I'm I sorry. a short tip. I think some people... Um, they're trying to impress the person on the first couple of dates. And okay, maybe on the first date you're not going to be so open because you're going to be shy. But, you know, try for those begin that beginning stage to be as honest and open as possible because you don't want to just be putting up a front and impressing this person and giving them you know everything and flowers and you know you cook for them but you hate cooking and you know and this person is like oh my god i love this person but you're actually not being who you are so they're falling in love with a false person because you're, you're not being real with yourself so all i'm gonna say is just be real be upfront from the very beginning and and be straightforward with what you want in a man, in a woman. Like, this is what I'm looking for and mean it. And if that's not the person, well, move on. There is uh, billions of people in this world. So, and now with the internet, you can meet anybody. Literally. That's no, there's actually thing. trillions. Okay. Uh, I can't. <laughs> there's trillions. Okay. I'm you sorry. and I have a boyfriend. Yeah, I have a boyfriend. No, no boyfriends for you. No boyfriend. No. No boyfriend. No boyfriend. No boyfriend. That's right. Okay. Yes, boyfriend. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for all your questions. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe to this video. Yes, More videos, please. more to come. Please, if you guys please, have, please. if you have made it to the end of this video and you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of content coming up for you guys. Yes. Please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you can be notified every time we post a video. Yes. 50 so that is it. <laughs> um, also, like this video, comment down below if you have any comments. Oh, bebe, bebe, bebe. Yeah. And that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time. Bye.